flow types in Salesforce in theory. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be exploring this topic. As you can see, flow types in Salesforce. In total, Salesforce, like in general, flow is the latest automation by Salesforce. And there are in total um, five types of flows, right? One of them is screen flow. The second is a record triggered flow. Third is scheduled triggered flow, platform event flow, and auto launch flow. So you can see this on the org itself by accessing your org and typing flow. Okay. And for that, it takes some time to open up. And then when you create on your right corner new flow, you can see it will give you the option what type of flow you would like to create. Here you can see all those flow types that I was just telling you about. I mean, in this case, it's six types, right? Um, so the screen flow and record triggered flow are the most two popular uh, flows I've been seeing. As an admin, you probably will be working with those two mainly, right? There is one also auto launch flow, which has no trigger, which is being basically called ex by external inputs. In this case, it's going to be like REST API. Let's say you have a third party service or you have a service running outside of Salesforce and it has some trigger that will was pushed from external and into your Salesforce, which will automatically launch the flow on your Salesforce org, right? So let's say you have a ERP and there is some account was updated on ERP and basically there's a API call out externally to your Salesforce and it's being it that's how the auto launch flow will be launched and let's say you have an account associated with that account that was changed on the on external ERP and then this is, will trigger the auto launch flow right so as I can I can I, I told you earlier it's very it's more advanced version of the flow right most of the time you will be using screen flow, which is basically, uh, I guess it's screen. <laughs> it guides user through the business process. As you can see some quick explanation on the bottom. Mm. And record triggered flow, on the other hand, doesn't have any screen. It's, it's, it acts as, a, uh, let's say, if you're familiar with the Apex code as a trigger. So let's say if something has change um, let's say let's say you create a r record and on that on on that specific uh, record creation you would like to have some sort of automation to be added let's say each time you create an account you make sure the status is in review right so that's where you will be creating record trigger flow uh, on the third sec third one is a schedule trigger flow and you can see it's, it's similar if you're familiar with if we want to compare it with the apex it's like a schedule to apex so basically it will run on specific time of the day time of the week or a month so usually to give you an example of this you would like to run this flow uh, on over the weekend just to check the statuses of um, maybe some cases if they're open and then may s calculate amount of open cases that hasn't been resolved by agents so that's where you will run uh, schedule triggered flow platform event triggered flow uh, launches when the platform event message is received so that's similar to kind of similar to auto launch flow but not exactly I to be honest has haven't been using this a lot so and then on a s we already talked about auto launched flow and then trigger record trigger orchestration so it's basically gives you some multi-step 
I guess this is where you will be using like um, you already created flow. It's like in subflow. Uh, this is like more advanced uh, parts of the flow. But as as I was mentioning, most of the time you will be facing with record trigger flow and screen flow, right? So I hope this helps, guys. Um, this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.